Hi students, uh, welcome back. Coming to the next topic that is the Java identifiers. So this is one of the important concept. We need to know the identifiers. So if you consider any programming language, okay, in any programming language, talk okay, about the programming languages like C, C++, Java. So whatever the programming language Python you have taken, identifiers, identifiers are used for for what identifiers are used for identification purpose identification purpose okay so in java in any programming language not only the java so identifiers are used for the identification purpose coming to the java programming language in java okay identifiers can be a class name, it can be a class name or it can be a method name, method name and it can be a variable name, variable name or it may be a label also. Okay, so in Java, identifiers can be either a class name, so you can... Uh, you, you will learn all these uh, in the coming videos. What is a class name? What is a method name? What is a variable name? I'll show uh, in a simple example. Even though you, if you didn't understand the example, don't worry about it. I just want to clarify you what exactly the identifiers is. What the Java identifiers is. Right? Okay. Let me take an example. Let me take an example. Example. So, this declaration, everything you don't understand, I think so. But later, while we are working on the Java, you will get the clarity on these things. The public, static, void, main, why we are uh, using this. All these, uh, these things you can understand in the coming video, students. Don't worry about it. So, just here I want to explain you what is a identifier. Okay. So, I said in Java, Identifiers can be a class name, method name, variable name or a label. So, here public class, this is a class name. The sample is a class name. So, in this simple code snippet, there are total 5 identifiers are there. 5 identifiers are there. Can you guess what are the 5 identifiers? Just have a look at it and try to understand what are the 5 under, uh, identifiers. First one I have said, the class name may be an identifier. Next, method name. So, main is a main method. So, this is a method name. Okay. And coming to the string. String is of predefined class name. We call it as a predefined, already defined, predefined class name that we are accessing here. This is an identifier. And coming to aux. Aux is a variable name. It's a variable name. Okay. And what about e, A? A is also a variable name. Int is a keyword student. So, it's not an identifier. So, here in this example, total there are 5 identifiers. A class name is an identifier. A method name is an identifier. A variable name is an identifier. Okay. So, I think you understand what exactly the identifiers are. Okay. There are some rules you need to be followed. First, let me explain you the rules because the rules are, let me write it, the rules for identifiers in Java programming language. Identifiers in Java programming language. Okay, so we have to follow the rules. You will get it out. Ma'am, why we need to follow the rules? Is it compulsory? Yes, it is compulsory. While writing the program, we have to follow the rules. Because if identifier is not declared properly, if you didn't declare the identifier properly, then obviously the compile time error will be occurred. The starting itself, you can't compile the program. If identifier declaration is not properly done, then the compile time error is occurred. So try to follow these rules. Rule number one. Valid identifier. So, if you take a valid valid identifier, any identifier, if it is a valid means, that means it the consisting of characters. Identifier can consisting of characters, the capital letters or it may be a small letter. Okay. And it consisting of numbers. Numbers 0 to 9. 
and it can also accept the underscore underscore symbol and it can also accept the dollar symbol so only these things valid identifier consisting of the letters from capital letters or small letters numbers 0 to 9 underscore dollar okay other than these any special characters are not accept acceptable okay remaining special characters are not acceptable special characters or not acceptable that means for example uh, let me take at the rate at the rate symbol at the rate all about csit so this is invalid why ma'am why it is invalid because un at the rate symbol it's not valid okay suppose if you are using right all hyphen about hyphen csit it is also invalid. Why ma'am? Why it is invalid? Because hyphen is a special character. Okay. Underscore is valid but hyphen is not valid. Okay. Remember this point. And coming to the third point. There should not be any space in identifiers. There should not be. There should not be any space. Between identifiers. Between any identifier, don't try to write the space because one word is an identifier. You can't split. Suppose all, you give the space about. So, this space, it's invalid. Don't write the space in between the words. Only you have to write all about. This is a valid. This is a valid. Right? So, and coming to another one. Uh, another one is identifier this is a very important one so identifier identifier should not contain number at starting should not contain should not contain number at starting i said numbers are valid in the identifier but it should not be a starting one numbers are valid in the identifier only but it should not be a starting letter the starting letter should not be a number for example 4 3 6 all about it's invalid starting you should not keep a number okay you can write like this all 4 3 2 so like that you can write means without space this is a valid so, after the letter, you can write the numbers, but starting should not be. So, this is suppose 4 uh, CSIT. So, this is invalid. But you can write CSIT 4. This is a valid. So, remember, in Java, identifier should not contain a number at starting. Numbers are valid, but it should not be a starting. Okay. And next point, there should not be, there is no limit in length. There is no limit in length of identifier. So, if it is, there is no limit means you can't, uh, it's better don't uh, follow that rule. Because if you increasing the length of the identifiers means it is difficult to manage that. So, even though there is no limit in length of identifier, but it is better to follow, but it is better to follow minimum 4 to 15 letters only. Four, it's better to use only 4 to 15 letters in an identifier. Okay. And one more thing. Java cannot use Java reserved words, uh, Java reserved keywords as an identifier. Cannot use java reserve keywords you know the reserve keywords right as an identifier what are the reserve keywords in the java example you can't use the int float double as a identifier invalid so that means you can't write int double right so this is invalid and the one more point you have to remember the students. Uh, identifier should not be a query language keywords also. Query language keywords are also not acceptable. Query language keywords not valid. So what are the query language keywords like select, 
from okay count so these are also invalid invalid so if you follow these rule it's somewhat you can uh, overcome the compile time errors while declaring the identifiers okay so we have to follow this careful rules carefully while writing the programs if identifier is not declared properly then compile time errors will be occurred so try to follow these rules thank you